Hey guys, it's me, uh, Arthur. Sorry about the quick video making. Also, hiatus is going to be called off just for today, just so I can get this video out to you. We have our th the record breaking Atlantic hurricane season continues to surprise. We have Tropical Storm Iota named. We also have, have uh, Theta still. Tropical Storm Iota, currently, as of, well, the way to send a sea run, has winds of 40 miles per hour, a pressure of, well, 1,006 1, millibars, aka a 29.71 IN. I do not know what that IN means. It's moving west south, southwest at 3 miles per hour, and it is currently located at 30.8 north, 74.3 west. This is as of their latest update, at least. You can see where it currently is, and you can see it's co tracking cone. I will t I, I will basically go ahead and go into it. Sorry, my kin my this device right now it does not actually have the uh, it doesn't actually have location based surfaces enabled. Really, I'm oh, sorry about that. I just that's what the location of the Kindle is set to really. This is this is it currently. As you can tell, tell most mo the NHC is expecting another major hurricane. Another major. This is cer this certainly is troublesome because they got they they've already been hit by Ada. If you don't remember Ada back in back in uh, forming back in like. On like I think Hallow it formed on Halloween or something. It's an uh, that, which was a Category Four. This thing is going to be a Category Three, and it's going to bring more damage to Honduras and Nicaragua. It's gonna pr it might take a slightly different track than Ada. Speaking of Ada, uh, there's Ada right there, just dead, pretty much. And yeah, they started in similar places. This is where this. This is where Iota started, and this is what where Ada started. That's where Ada got. Uh, the, this the, basically another hurricane is going to happen in the, for the Atlantic hurricane season. Thirty names. Think of that. That's the entirety of list six, and I think that's half of the Greek name. I think that's like one and a half of the Greek name columns. If you can remember the next. The next name is now going to be a different name, not Iota. Iota just got named, and I was like, I looked, and it's just Iota got named, and, my, and, I, and it's like insane because we're ahead of 2005. Think of that. In terms of actual like true name systems, we're ahead of 2005. We can recall 2005 they had 27 named storms and an unnamed subtropical one. I think that was a 21L that became that unnamed subtropical. We we did we haven't been the uh, we haven't been this year that I'm talking about uh, 2005 in damages, but we have beat it in activity. We have 30 named tropical systems. 30. Oh, and if you're wondering what else is going on, really. Well, nothing is basically going on over here. There is a, I, I believe, a moderate chance for one of the systems to form. We recently had a Dallas, and we have a still strengthening, still strengthening Typhoon Vamco. It is currently as uh, of like, if we use the Sapphire Hurricane Sapphire Simpson scale that we use to t defi define what type of hurricanes is there. This is a Category Four Typhoon. 130 miles per hour is its current winds. It recently struck the Philippines, and it is going to make landfall in Vietnam. This is going. This is. It. It may. It might actually. It's. They're saying it might weaken, but they've been saying this for a while, and it's continued to strengthen. So I don't know what's going to happen. And then, just look down here. This is a tropical cyclone right there. It's not shown up. On the, the uh, right there, its name is not showing up because they haven't mo monitored it yet. But it is a named tropical entity. It is actually 
if you use the Australian's way of determining what category it is, it is currently a Category 1 tropical cyclone. If you consider that it's an Australian thing. Its name is Alicia. I actually have to give a actual like shout out to a slightly bigger channel. Uh, this channel is, I believe, Cyclone Tracking Oz. Thanks. To, it's all thanks to him that I know that this system right there is named. I, I just don't know. The next name in the, I think the next name is Cap in the North Atlantic is Kappa. Uh, I don't know about the South Atlantic, but they did have a storm earlier this season, Manny. Earlier, the, well, this year, and Manny technically. I think that was like October-ish. The next name in the East Pacific is Poa. In the Central Pacific, we have we're still waiting for Hone. I'm I'm still waiting to figure out what the ne the next name in the West Pacific is, but it is going to be on. I think maybe is it's going to be still S three or is it going to be S four? I do not know. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name is actually, believe it or not, it's Gatti. We've actually avoided having Gatti form for a while now. There was like I think a tropical storm like somewhere over here. That didn't get named. The next name in the Southwest Indian Ocean, uh, it's it's now Bongoyo. In the Australian region, it's Imogen, and in and in the South Pacific, we're still waiting for Yolanda or Yasa, depending on what type of person you are. That's it for now. I'll see you all in the next video, which is. Which means that the hiatus will continue once this video uploads, okay? I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.